Hi, I'm Johanna Rothman, and this is my April 2024 Create an Adaptable Life newsletter. When and how should we build community to connect with each other? When my younger daughter was in high school, her principal continually invited us to events. He thought we would build community with meaningful connections that way. But I already went to high school. And the last thing I wanted, maybe not the very last, but close to it, was to return to high school. My daughter could have that fascinating experience all by herself. Connecting on the basis of high school did not make much sense to me then or now. I felt as if her principal tried to coerce us, the parents, into building community. That's because the real community creates its culture, while the school administration was the primary culture driver. The students chose when and how to reinforce that culture, not the parents. Contrast that experience with the eclipse earlier this week. For those of us who live in the United States, we did build a community of either in-person or uh, vicarious eclipse watchers. I watched NASA's live stream, now recorded on YouTube, linked below. Watching the stream made me feel as if we were all a part of something larger than ourselves, a real opportunity to build community around the entire event and the images we saw. Those common experiences created a culture of connection. That's when I realized what made me feel different about the various community building events in which I've participated or not. When to build community. Aside from the eclipse, I've been a part of many work focused community building events I enjoyed. For years, I worked in organizations with informal communities of practice. Those communities might enjoy social activities, but those activities are not mandatory fun. Link in the text below. Earlier in my consulting career, I volunteered for many professional meetups, which were another form of communities of practice. Aside from the knowledge I gained from the various speakers, I also learned how to support the other volunteers and attendees. I also learned a big lesson. For volunteer communities to thrive, the, leader, the leadership needs to learn to leave so new people can continue that community and evolve the culture. Some of those communities have not learned that lesson and they no longer exist. Community can build human connection, but only as long as the community adapts and changes to the changing environment. That allows the culture to evolve and change. I'm also a part of several writer communities. So far, we sustain those communities because we support each other. Then there's the chicken and the egg problem. Do we build community to connect, or do we connect first and then build? As with, as with most juicy questions, my answer is both. How to build connection. The communities that sustain themselves seem to have several characteristics. Each community appears to welcome new participants, assuming those people meet some reasonable prerequisites. For example, people who want to discuss writing but not write do not last long in my various writer communities. In my writer communities, we write. So write people moving around the various leadership positions and support new people joining the leadership, whether it's title leadership or not. Make everything optional so people can choose their involvement level. This helps people in the community evolve the culture and supports people when they have trouble. There is no coercion 
to join or participate as I felt long ago from that principle. I choose to join communities that lift everyone up. I don't stick around where people play zero-sum games. Those don't build community or connection. Instead, I prefer to consider how we can all succeed. Isn't that part of why we build community to connect? The eclipse was an opportunity to build informal and temporary community. I hope those feelings can lead to better connection with that coercion. The question this month is when and how should we build community to connect with each other? All the announcements, all the read more, all the links are down below. Thank you, and I hope you have a terrific end of April, and I will see you on this newsletter in May.